This is Roman. Roman is planning his wedding and sends invitations to all of his friends. One of his friends receives the invitation, but decides not to go because he is busy painting his new house. Another friend receives the invitation, but also decides not to go because he has a new girlfriend and would rather spend time with her. Another of Roman's friends receives the invitation, but does not want to go because he planned to go on vacation during that time and does not want to change his plans. As Roman's wedding celebration starts, none of his friends have come. Roman is frustrated with his friends because other things were more important to them than coming to his wedding. But Roman decides to go out to the streets and invite all of the people that he meets to come to his wedding. As the celebration starts, there are many different people sitting at the table that normally would not know each other or even get along. That being said, Roman is happy. He is happy with all the people that are at his wedding celebration. Jesus told this story to show his listeners that God welcomes everyone to know him no matter who they are or what their background is. One day, some people came to Jesus because they wanted to trap him. They asked him, Teacher, tell us, is it right to pay taxes to the emperor? At that time, the Jewish people, including Jesus, were ruled by the Romans, who forced them to pay high taxes. Jesus was angry, you don't really want to know the answer. You just want me to say something that will make people angry because you want to get rid of me. Show me a coin. Whose image is on this coin? That of the emperor. Then give the emperor what belongs to him and give God what he asks of you. They had nothing to say and left. The Sadducees, who don't believe in the resurrection, asked Jesus about a woman who married seven brothers, each dying without children. They wanted to know whose wife she would be in the resurrection. Jesus told them they were mistaken, explaining that in the resurrection, people do not marry and that God is the God of the living, not the dead. The crowd was amazed by his response. One day, Jesus was asked, what is the most important commandment that God has given us in his law? Jesus replied, it's very simple, love God with all your heart and all your strength. But there is also a second commandment that is just as important as the first, love other people as you love yourself. These two commandments sum up everything that is described in the law that God has given you. Jesus questioned the Pharisees about the Messiah, asking why David would call him Lord if the Messiah is his son. The Pharisees couldn't answer, and from then on, they stopped questioning Jesus. <laughs>